what was it specifically about that telly that drew you to it? I don't know, just something about like, like the first time I picked it up, it was also my first day in Japan. I landed, I got the keys to the place I stayed at, I fell asleep on the floor. That night I Googled music shops just because it, it had been like five weeks since I played a guitar. And the next day I took a walk. That's when I, I called you from the music shop and I was like, I have this, this 4,000 yen acoustic, like used acoustic guitar here, or there's this Telecaster, what do I do? And then you're like, get the electric. <laughs> it was the first new guitar I ever bought. What kind of music are you playing these days? My relationship with music is not as consistent as it used to be. It, it's very much like an on and off kind of thing. It's kind of like tapering off nowadays, but I'm trying to revive it in whatever ways that I can. It's a little harder without instruments. Hi everyone. We are back to finish what we started a month ago rebuilding my brother's Fender Japan TL-71 Telecaster. If you haven't seen part one where we clean the hardware and refinish the body, you can check that out right here. Since then, I've let the guitar cure, I've wet sanded the body, and hand polished the finish the best that I can. But more importantly, I got the chance to talk to my brother a few times about his guitar, what it was like, and where we should go from here. Was there anything about it that you were unhappy about? Uh, it was like top, it was top heavy. <laughs> During that process, I told him, hey, we're essentially starting from scratch, so he could have pretty much anything that he wanted. Whether if it was any mod he could think of, any pickup combination that he could dream of, or hell, I even floated the idea of an onboard TS9 circuit. But the only thing that he really wanted was something that, even with all the time and experience and money in the world, I just could never give him. He wanted his guitar back. I really liked the way that the guitar sounded before it caught on fire. Anything more like you want out of this guitar, I guess? No, I just want to play it again. Now, I did try to source some original parts, but there's just not enough or even conflicting information out there about the loadout of these guitars, so I can never be 100% sure that what I was getting was what came stock in the first place. And as fate would have it, this happened to be the only one of his guitars that I'd never worked on or even held. I have no reference for how the neck played, nor how it felt in the hand. I don't know any of its quirks or faults or scrapes that made it unique, and I have no memories of how this guitar really sounded outside from a few Instagram videos and a couple demos. But even if I had had those experiences to take with me into this, there's still so much that I can't do. I can't create a neck from ash. I can't unmelt and remagnetize a pickup bobbin. And I can't unburn this guitar. The only thing that I can do is my best. So I got to work on the new design. If all I had were demos and phone videos, then fine. I'd listen to them on repeat until I memorized the sound of this guitar. To my ears, it was smooth and warm, but articulate with some bite when it was pushed. I think a pair of Lawler specialties should be up to the task. And while I never knew this guitar's neck, I know how much my brother loves the neck on Hazel. She wears a compound radius roasted maple neck with a Slim C profile and a 1 5 8 inch nut. So we'll give him just that. And this guitar also needs to be versatile enough not just to fill the place of the telly, but all the other guitars that he lost. So we'll add a series parallel switch so he can get even more sounds of it than ever before. I think I've got my work cut out for me today, so no breaks this time around. Let's build this guitar.
Here it is, everyone, our newly rebuilt Telecaster. I can't even begin to tell you how happy it makes me to watch this Tele go from the charred remains of my brother's first new guitar to this wonderful instrument that was hiding underneath. And I know, I know, I kind of left Hazel in a bit of a sorry state, but I hope she'll forgive me after I get her new neck. Maybe I'll touch her wiring as well. We'll see. Is there anything you want to say to the people on YouTube? Uh, buy renter's insurance. <laughs> if your house is on fire, grab a guitar on the way out. <laughs> or if you want that burned look, at least put it under your bed <laughs> or something. I don't know. <laughs> Be careful. Thank you so, so much, everyone, for joining me on this project. This one was really close to my heart, and it makes me so happy that I was able to share it with so many of you. I'm sure I'll spend the next week or so making some final adjustments before I send this guitar back down to where it belongs. But for now, I need a beer, a shower, and a nap in whatever order comes first. Thanks for watching, everyone. I'll see you in the next one. Happy playing!